Shalom. Uh, I'm back with another part of the uh, the video, which is a uh, parable of the sower. Um, had to pause the video for a second. Um, had you know multiple interruptions during the during the video. Had to put it on pause. You know, with, with the distractions out of the way. You know, since uh, whoever employs Satan try to use to disrupt this word, man, it's not gonna work. But uh, just to get back to the topic, this is the parable of the sower back in Matthew, the 13th chapter, in the 22nd verse. It says, He also that receives seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word. Yeah, that's likely. Let me park my car real quick. Let me transit. Let me kind of park here and keep keep going with the lessons. Lock it. Turn this off. But, um, Right, he said, he that also that receives seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word and the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he become unfruitful. All right. So the world, you know, basically the, the allures of uh, this world has uh, taken away this, um, you know, has led this, this individual away from the truth. All right. And like I, I mentioned in the previous video. You know, you have guys that actually left this truth for whatever reason. Might have been their family, might have been their woman, might have been, you know, whatever uh, thing that concerns this world. You know, it could have been a job. You know, they were drawn away. Okay. Because, you know, the, the, the premise behind the parable of the sower is. Falls also under, under the. Um, the topic of doing the work as well, man. All right, because the Lord specifically sent the ones to to uh, spread the seed. All right, to sow the seed. All right, among uh, our people. Okay, and whoever receives it and understands it, then um, we brought forth a good work, man. Okay, and the Lord's going to reward us. All right, we have faith. That the Lord is indeed going to reward us. Okay. Now verse 23. said, But he that receives seed into the good ground. Is he that heareth the word. And understandeth it. Alright. See what I just mentioned earlier. said, Which also bear fruit. And bringeth forth some a hundredfold. Some sixty. Some thirty. Alright. Now I want to grab another, another scripture. I know I had it uh, lined up already. I want to see if I can get it real quick. Uh, no, it's like you. Uh, I'm trying to remember where it is. But um, this is Second uh, Corinthians, the third chapter. It's like you, the third chapter. Because I had the precepts lined up for this lesson. This is Second Corinthians, the third chapter. In the first verse, it said, "Do we begin again to commend ourselves, or need we, as some others?" Epistles of commendation to you or letters of commendation from you. Ye are our epistle written in our hearts, known and read of all men. For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Yahweh Shai ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living power, not in tables of stone, but in fleshy tables of the heart. All right, you see. So in this point in this verse, it says, uh, but with the spirit of the living power, not in tables of stone, right? But in fleshy tables of the heart. Okay. That's why us who are the hopefully elect has received this word. And in the coming future, when the Lord establishes the kingdom, he's going to take away the stony heart, which was with, which is within us. And he's going to give us a heart made of flesh. So in other words, he's going to instill his lost as his commandments into our inward parts. All right. He's going to instill his word into our inward parts, the wisdom, the understanding, the knowledge, everything that the Lord knows we're going to know. OK, and we're never going to go off ever again. That's why we have received this word and that's why the Lord made it to where we received this word, man. All right. Like I mentioned before in the previous video that you have guys that of the stony, the stony soil, right? Of this, this uh, the ground that's full of stones. You have some guys that that uh have thorns, and you have guys that have uh, good soil. All right, and the ones that that Satan came and 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 um 
stole away the word from that they're, they're not even a part of this man all right but uh i want to jump from there i want to get the book of uh romans the 11th chapter and the seventh verse you know this this priest uh, you know it's his home man uh it says what then israel have not attained that which he seeketh for but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded so the lord blinded the the, the rest of the nation of Israel to where they, they, they can't get it, man. They can't obtain it. But the election have obtained it. Okay? That's why I read in the same um verse, or should I say the same chapter in Matthews, right? Matthews 13 chapter. Um the Lord said it was given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it was not given. Okay. So the water you how about Shemel Shah, we have that good soil, man. And we have received the word. Okay. Now, uh, some quick hits, quick hits. Uh, Matthew's the third chapter in the seventh verse. It says, uh, but when he saw many, and this time about John the Baptist. All right. And this is another key point that we, uh, we bring always bring out. And it's another scripture that hits home. Like the previous one, Romans 11 to seven, but this is Matthew's the third chapter in the seventh verse. It says, uh, but when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore for fruits, meat for repentance. So John the Baptist didn't even want those wicked scribes and, and those wicked Pharisees and Sadducees to come to the baptism, man. All right. He's, he's saying, who had warned you to flee from the wrath to come? All right. So he's saying, look, don't come here for, you know, trying to get salvation because I'm not going to. I'm not going to baptize you. All right. So he said, look, bring me fruits, meat for repentance, man. And the fruits that I meet for repentance are a part of the elect, man. All right. So once again, it's not given unto everybody. All right. Not everybody is good soil. All right. So I don't know what these so-called churches are talking about. You know, was that that's that they're on a whole nother level of stupidity, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> that's what they that's what they have man and they can have it all right so uh, the book of matthews uh last verse i mean last uh precept um matthews the 18th chapter in the first verse is at that same time came the disciples unto yahweh shai saying who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven and yahweh shai who these people entered to call jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them and said verily i say unto you except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Why? Now, why do you say that? All right, it's going to show you in this, uh, this uh, next next verse. It said, Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. All right? And whosoever shall, or oh, it's like, and whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. All right? So in other words, you know, you have to hum yourself as a little child. Now, that doesn't mean that to say, oh, how, how you doing, sir? You know, are you having a good day? You, do you want me to do this? And that? No, it doesn't mean that, man. All right. It means that everything that you learn, you have to put that away. Everything that you learn in this world, you have to put put that away. All right. And come learn of, of Yahweh Bashem Shai. Those of you who are the nation of Israel. All right. Because. The mind of a child is like a sponge, man. Okay, and that's that's a that's a known fact. Because when a child they see when they see and hear things, they absorb it, all right, and they um they rehearse it. Okay, you know they they mock what they see. Okay, and that's what Yahweh was trying to tell uh, Nicodemus, right, about uh, being born again. All right, because that's what it means to be born again. What's the, what it means to be born again is to put away your previous life that you once knew, everything that you learned, and learn of Yahweh about Shemuel All right. Now, does that mean you have to quit your job or you know whatever you got going on, you know, to make income or whatever? Uh, no. All right. As long as it's in righteousness, that is, you know. But uh, you know, if you have to handle business, or you or you have a uh, you know, a little something going on to to uh, keep up your your daily living, you know, keep it, man. All right, you know, don't get simple. 
But um, that's pretty much it on this video. Uh, this is uh, pretty much to wrap it all up. You know, Slocky once again for this previous that previous um interruption that I had. You know, I had to handle business. But um, uh, you know, Lord's will. You members of the Hopefully Late Edified by this video, and until next time, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, Rahawa Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that still to this very day continue to rule very well. And Shalom to the Hopefully Lick that's uh, continually plowing his work, that's giving our diligence to make your calling election sure and our faith true sincerity. And with that.